This is the aftermath of an airstrike on the town of Snezhnaya in eastern Ukraine. One of the bombs fell on an apartment block, causing its partial collapse. Locals joined together with rescuers to help those trapped under the rubble. That boy is now in hospital with seven others, but almost a dozen civilians have been confirmed killed. The government is denying responsibility, saying this was the work of an unidentified jet. But scenes like these are repeated daily across the East, fueling a refugee exodus. Artis Rina Galushka has this report. Uprooted, driven out, desperate, these people have been flooding into the Rostov region by hundreds for the past several weeks, trying to escape the bloody war that has engulfed the southeast of Ukraine. This refugee camp is literally just several meters away from the Ukrainian border, so for people staying here, war is still very much a part of daily routine. They say recently the artillery fire at night has gotten closer and the memories of the bombardment back at home do not grow any less vivid the children may appear to be immune to the horrors happening in their homeland, playing and carrying on as usual. But once prodded, they show deep emotional scars. Many who left their loved ones behind haven't heard from them for several days. Such refugee camps are simply temporary ports for these people who will have to find new jobs, new houses, new ways to live. Not because they didn't like the lives they had, but because they were denied those by senseless fighting. Irina Galushko, RT, Rostov and Don region. Irina has been tweeting about her stay at the camp and you can follow her as she documents the struggle of those forced from their homes.